Small Rockies and Blue Jays. Frank Thomas about to be completely off the hook. Came in with 498 career, bottom four. Booyah! 499th career homer. One shy becoming the 21st guy ever with 500, even though five different guys could join that club this year. Top six, Dustin McGowan has a no-no through five complete. Blue Jays helping her boy out. Howie Clark, nice diving stop and throw to get the out at first. In the seventh, top seven, Todd Helton at the plate for the Rockies. Two out, Helton, Jokic, fly ball to left field. Adam Lynn goes back to the deep, deep and makes it. No hitter still intact through seven. Frank Thomas said, I've been telling him since spring training, kid, you've got something special. <laughs> like Sunday, he had something special. McGowan, school. Tulowitzki, seventh strike out of the game that was. Top nine, first batter, Jeff Baker, no-no, gone. McGowan trying to be the second no-hitter in the history of the Blue Jays. That ain't going to happen. Dave Steve did it in 1990 against Cleveland. But what he will get, his first career complete game, first career shutout, Blue Jays win the game 5-0. Dustin McGowan shook off his worst start of the season in a big way on Sunday. Reds Mariners in the final game of what has been a love fest series for Ken Griffey Jr. as he returned to Seattle. I'm not sure they're going to love that quite so much. In the first off, Miguel Batista really Bloomquist has no, he doesn't have it. That's a home run, Griffey. But Bloomquist had it. He keeps running 20th of the season. That ties him with Big Mac, 583 seventh all time. Adrian Beltre right there. And look at Griffey coming in. Played a lot of center out there in Seattle there. Good catch out in right field. Doubles off Ben Broussard. Now we go to the fifth. Junior up again. Base is empty. And goodbye, Big Mac. Drops him down a slot in the record books. Junior, second of the day, 21st of the season. It's his 16th career homer at Safeco, although he hadn't hit one there since 99. In the seventh, we're tied at two. Runners on first and third for Bloomquist. Lays one down. Unesky Betancourt scores. Mariners are up three to two. That's how the game would finish, and Griffey would finish his return trip to Seattle with a standing ovation. Well, needless to say, the kid still has it. Griffey moves into seventh in the all-time home run list. Pass to McGuire. Needs just 16 more to 600. Goodness. It's Griffey's second multi-homer game this season. 55th of his career, tying Jimmy Fox for seventh most all-time. A lot of sevens there. Griffey now has 49 career interleague home runs, the second most ever. Junior now on moving past Matt. This is one of those things that, that happen. You play long enough and you hit a few out, you catch people. Uh, you know, he he's uh, one of the reasons why, you know, baseball is big because of that. All the home runs him and Sammy hit in that year. Um, you know, that's why baseball is, is where it is now. Yeah, they started all of it. League, 7 of his 11, coming against the NL. Yankees and Giants, a reunion of the 1962 World Series. Barry Bonds, Willie Mays' godson, giving his goddad some props, as does A-Rod. Basically, that's uh, 1,241 combined homers, giving props to 660. And that's Barry Bonds showing some speed. And then he and Derek at second. It's a superstar thing the rest of us wouldn't understand. Two batters later, Bonds in third. Pedro Feliz, fly to right. Bonds tagging from third. Old man, please. Bond still has wheels. Remember, he's in that 40-40 club. Tagging up, sliding, scoring, jeeming up one zip. Later in the inning, two outs, first base open. Eighth place hitter, Guillermo Rodriguez. Doubles to left center. Ryan Klesko scores 2-0 Giants. Top six, Yankees down three, zip. Sacks Jack, one out for A-Rod. After an 11 pitch at bat, A-Rod. Strokes are grounded is short. Omar Vizquel goes to second for one. But check out A-Rod, who's also in the 40-40 club, which means speed. Busted it. Beats the throw. Melky Cabrera scores. Yankees down 3-1. A-Rod, 9 for 13 in the series. Bottom seven, we need some middle relief, please. Roger Clemens, first regular season relief since 84. 23 years in between a record. Basically, 42 years old versus 44 years old. 749 career homers against 349 career wins. First pitch, Rocket missed away. Ball two down and away. Rocket doesn't get the call in the outside corner on 3-0. Strike on the outside corner. But still, you know, we built this matchup up, and it's, you know, it's a walk like the Sopranos ended. Yankees lose 7-2. Colleen Dominguez has more from the Bay. Would you settle for a simply spectacular highlight? Red right. Sox Padres, potential matchup of all-star starters. Josh Beckett, Jake Peavy here. J.D. Drew grounds to first off. Peavy, Peavy covering. He goes down and goes down high. 
but he gets up. He's a hockey player. Same inning, nobody on two away. Jason Veritek loops one to shallow left. Khalil Green, Russell Branion collide. Veritek moving on to third. Peavy's over there trying to cover. Dives trying to make the play. I mean, this guy is giving up the body. Son, don't forget you make your living throwing off that bump. Let's try to stay out of trouble here. Medical staff would come out from Padre to check him over, but he'd continue on. He's now, a hockey player. Top third. Runners on first and second. Big Poppy. Grounds through the right side. Coco Crisp will score. one nothing in favor of the visitors. Same inning. It's 2 nothing. Sox. Runners on first and second. Two away. Two out hits, of course. We'll get you to heaven. And Mike Lowell just dropped the bat on it, and it drops down there into right field. Ortiz will score three nothing Red Sox. Peavy gives up three earned in five innings, nine hits. Yeah, five innings short outing for him. Pinch hitter Tramel Sledge drives this one off Josh Beckett to the gap. Kevin Guzmano will score. Jeff Blum will score. The Padres cut the lead to one. It's three two. Still in the fifth. Two outs. Runner on third. Full count. Adrian Gonzalez down he goes. Beckett out of the jam, but doesn't appear to be that. Please, given the gum a workout. In the seventh, Beckett still going along. Gets Jose Cruz Jr. to end the inning. And in the eighth, nobody on, nobody out. Jason Veritek, he's a captain. Drives that one from Scott Linebrink. And it's not going to land until it gets to the people. You get to keep them when they go out there. 4-2 Red Sox. Veritek's eighth of the year. Beckett gets win number 11. Red Sox win at 4-2. TV's first loss in his last. Braves in the Dirty Dirty ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. Andrew Miller remembers this date a year ago. He started for North Carolina in game one of the College World Series, pitched five innings, allowed seven hits, three runs. UNC won that game, but they lose the series against Oregon State. Carolina needed Miller Sunday against Oregon State in this year's College World Series, but we'll get more to those highlights later. later. Thank you. More on that later. <laughs> Bottom two in the here and now, Miller rocks Chris Woodward to sleep with a 97-mile-per-hour heater. Bottom five, nobody on, two outs. Yunel Escobar. Lines to short, Carlos Guillen, heater in the house. Guillen also extended his hitting streak to 11 games. Top six, bases loaded, nobody out. Chuck James walks Carlos Guillen, scoring Placido Polanco. Bobby Cox comes in to replace James. Tickers up, two zip. Next batter, Peter Moylan. Pitching, Pudge hitting, and hitting wild. The Braves shut out again. They're the first team since the 1985 Atlanta Braves to score just one total run in five games. Tigers win this one. Five bagel. Mets A's, New York. First two at Shea. Looking to grab the gravy game as well. Look at that. The whole Met family's out there. Mr. Met, Mrs. Met, Bryce Maximus Met. First batter for the Mets, Jose Reyes. Knocks it to right. That's down. Jack Cuss, usually the DH. He's got it. He cuts it off and he throws uh, poorly. Reyes is quick. He's up, still running. Round of third, headed for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. Mets take a 1-0 lead on the throwing air. Reyes, three hits in this ball game. Let's go to the third now. Two nothing in favor of the Mets. Runners both in scoring position. Second and third. Damon Easel eyes deep to center. Marcotze not deep enough. Two will score. Mets take a 4-0 lead on Easley's double. But wait, there's more. Mostly from the Mets. 5-2 in the seventh. John Main. There's Jack. Right, Jack Cussey's going to atone for the play in the out. No, he's not actually. Down he goes. Main went seven innings, allowed two runs. Mets win at 10-2, win the series. Three love, outscore them 20 to three. Astros, Rangers, all of Texas watches while they wait for football season. Craig Biggio, 2,993 career hits. Mets make it 2,994, the infield single. Biggio safe. Top six, how about more? Astros up 7-3, cruising along. Life is good, little bingo there. 2,995, except now we go to the ninth. Dan Wheeler on in relief. It's a 9-7 game. They're already blowing a lead in the eighth. Marlon big pinch hitting for Jerry Hairston. That flies a long way. Rangers down 9-8. Birds third of the season. Then later in the inning with two outs, witness the Rangers' Ian Kinsler against Houston. Solo home run, his 14th. We're tied at 9. We're going to play more baseball in Texas on a Sunday night. In the 10th, still 9 all, one on, one out for... Biggio. Guy's going to get 3,000 all on Sunday night. Now I quit at three. Morgan Ensberg will score Biggio. 2,996 hits. Needs four more. Astros win this thing 12 9 in 10. Indians use some ninth inning match against the Nationals Saturday. Sunday, the series is up for grabs. Jason Simon Tachi getting the start. Here getting some help. Christian Guzman is there to make a sweet flip to Roddy Belliard. Bare hand and gets his foot down. Excellent work. Tough fielder's choice for Johnny Peralta there. 
Bottom second, two on two outs. Jesus Flores singles up the middle. Demet Hook scores, one up the Nationals. Now we go top nine, one on, one out. Indians down three, one. Travis Hafner, hey Shrek. Groundsman is short. Guzman, Belly are good, but not good enough. They can't turn two, so Indians stay alive for another at bat. Peralta gonna get another swing at it. Not one of these infield rollers this time. Big, deep drive, but Austin Kearns is there. Simon Tachi allows one run in five after giving up 10 and three in his last start. It's the Nats win 3-1. Pirates and Angels entering Sunday. The Angels had won 117 straight games when leading after eight. Is this foreshadowing? Is it gonna end? Top nine, Halos up 3-2. Francisco Rodriguez is on to close it. One on one out for Xavier Nady. Wild pitch for Jai Davis moves up to second. Later in the at bat, uh, ditto. Redundancy department. Another wild pitch. Davis to third. Take a closer look. This ball bounces so far in front of the plate that it it grows alive and bounces over the shoulder of Jose Molina. Nady's still batting. Stroking. Single to left. Davis comes in to score. We're tied at three. Rodriguez blows the save for only the second time this year. Bottom 10, two on two out. Eric Ibar. Give the people what they want, but don't give them too much. Ibar walk-off ground rule double, his first career walk-off hit, but the Angels' second walk-off win this series. The streak continues, 118 and counting when leading after. Final game of the series with the Crosstown Cubbies. Alfonso Soriano, four for seven, two homers in his career against Jose Contreras. And in the seventh, Soriano deep and gone. Now he led off games on Friday and Saturday with a home run. Here he waited until the seventh to hit his 15th, two nothing. He's cup. getting worse. Crazy play in the eighth. Mark DeRose at the plate. Angel Pagan first, Felix P.A. at second. And DeRosa, going to drive one deep into right field. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Rob McCoviak will retrieve it, get it back to the infield. Paul Konerko gets it, eventually makes a throw to second, and Pagan is tagged out going back to the base. DeRosa then caught in a rundown. Konerko says, you know what, I'm going to get the guy headed home, Felix P.A. He's caught another pickle here between third and home. He's tagged out by Josh Fields. Crazy double play, but looks like two outs nonetheless, right? Well, uh, no. Umpires convene. You're going to talk in the infield about obstruction. Ozzie Gian's like, two outs for me. What, what's there to discuss? Umpires continue discussing rule 7.06B. Lou Pinnell's confused, and we'll look at this more closely. Juan Uripe appears to be obstructing Angel Pagan. Third base ump Ed Hickox calls it right away. Ditto Ed Rapuano there at second. So at this point, you just let it play out and then sort it out. Pagan, tag there at second, eventually PA, they're headed home. Doesn't matter because of the obstruction. Crew Chief Cowboy Joe West signaling that all the Cubbies are going back to some bases. PA to third, Pagan to second, DeRosa's gonna go to first. Ozzie Guillen's gonna come out, argue the call, but was he was polite, but PO'd, asked West to run him eventually, and the Cowboy, out you go. So you get, uh, you'll get you get no outs and you'll like it. After the long delay, base is loaded. Next batter, Coy Lee Hill. High fly to center. PA, he's over there on third, right? He's going to tag and score easily this time. But look what happens to Angel Pagan. He's in the hot box again. <laughs> he finally is tagged out. This double play will stand, but the run does score, and the Cubbies win at 3-0. Just nothing going right for the Sox here this month. Whatever. Dodgers and double rays, bottom two, D rays down two zip. Ty Wigginton, W E F U N K. We Funk, better known as a mothership connection. His 13th home run of the year. We're going old school. Double rays down two on bottom Bootsy six Collins game tied in two. That was some Bootsy. One on one out. Wigginton singles to left. Brendan Harris gets waved home. Luis Gonzalez throw beats him, but Harris's slide knocks the ball out of Mike Lieberthal's glove. Taking a look, it's just a school of hard knocks. Lieberthal loses it, and D-Rays go up 3-2. Top seven, D-Rays up 4-2. Wilson Betterman grounds to first off the glove of Wigginton. Second baseman Josh Wilson stays with the play, throws to a covering Jay Wotasek. Double Rays would score five in the seventh and win 9-4. Earning starter Edwin Jackson, his first win since September of 2005. Here's a switch, two teams both in the National League. <laughs> Phillies and Cardinals, second inning. Cole Hamels rocking grown men to sleep. Aaron Miles swinging. Kelly Sinet in the third. With the Cardinals up one zip. Blaming on Millie Vanilli. A one hour, 36 minute rain delay in St. Boogie. Hamels three innings, three hits, earned run, three Ks. Did not come back after the rain delay. Top five, Kip Wells did come back. And Michael Bourne rips it up the middle off of Wells' glove. 
Run scores, ties the game up at one. Wells, five innings, three hits, earned run, five Ks. Still tied, top eight. Sacks Jack for pinch hitter Shane Victorino. Holler! Victorino usually spends his off days relaxing in the dugout. He said afterward, today for some reason, I went to the cage three or four times. Three run double just over Duncan's head. The Fowies going to win it, five to one. Beer makers, Royals. Corey Hart comes into Sunday hitting 358 home runs, 19 RBIs in June. Royals take a 3 2 lead in the eighth. Last wraps for the Brewers, and there's Hart. Beer man. Hooray for beer off Octavio Dotel. And uh, we are tied. Ball just clips the glove of David De Jesus. Hart's heroics tie things up 3 3. Let's play 10. We go to the 11th. Same score. Bases loaded. One out. Joey Gaff's right. Ball four. Just as good as a single. Walk forces in the go-ahead run, 4-3 Royals. Now, Milwaukee, they won Friday in 1982 uniforms. They won Saturday in 1923 uniforms. Sunday, dressed in 2007 uniforms. Jimmy Gobble gets Prince Fielder, and perhaps they need to go back to living in the past as Kansas City holds on to win it, 4-3. Twins and Marlins, top one, no score. Base is empty for Joe Maurer. John, is this a three-wood or a driver he uses? Uh, all wood, I imagine. It's the persimmon, you don't see that very often. Or maybe a fairway metal. Maurer hitting 319, second home of the season. Then it becomes the Johan Santana show, written, directed, produced, and edited by Johan Santana. Tied at one, fakes the sacrifice bunt. Johan Santana, big ups. The first Twins pitcher to triple since Jim Perry did it in 1969. And then Johan doing his thing, his real thing, his job oh. thing. Brett Carroll, please, Dan Ugla. This is why he's a two-time Cy Young winner. He freaked Josh Willingham with the okie doke. Six innings, one on run, eight Ks. Top six, Joe Maurer is cool as the other side of the pillow. Second homer of the game, third of the season, second career multi-homer game. The Twinkies hold on to win it, seven to four. A lot of swings. Number nine, LPGA, Wegman's final round. Lindsey Wright, her approach shot on the par for a 12. That's an eagle two. Big ups one time, right finish in third. Twinkies and Marlins, Luis Rodriguez lines the second. Dan Ugla drinking some haterade. Great defense from Ugla, not enough. Twins won the game 7 0. Oh. Number six, College World Series final, UNC Oregon State. Seth Williams doubles down the left field line. Darwin Bailey, relay throw. Got him. Tim Fedroff out at the plate. Beaver Nation national champs again, 9 3. Number five, U.S. Track and Field Championship. Oh. Despite the bad weather, Tyson Gay runs the second Ooh. fastest 200 meter race ever at 19.62 seconds. It's a new meet record. Three Gold Cup final. U.S. looking to defend their title against Mexico. The volley! Yes! Yes! Benny Failhaber! 73rd minutes, 2 1 U.S. U.S. comes from behind to defeat Mexico 2-1. to one. Number two, the Travelers Cup, round four. Number two, but it, it's actually a one. Oh, Van Pelt with the ace, part of his 64. One, good score. Number one, Reds Mariners, Junior. That is belted by Junior, and it will fly away. And listen to the roar of the crowd. Listen to it for Junior. 583rd and 584th of his career moves past Mark McGuire into seventh. 